Today we are going to enable Windows Copilot and for that we need to have Windows 11 latest version available and if you didn't have already updated, link right over here for a couple of videos, one of which shows you how you can update to the latest version without losing anything on your computer and the other one if you want to a fresh install with the latest version of Windows which will allow you to use Windows Copilot. Now it's not available on all the regions of the world but with these four plus one solutions that I did gather and I'm going to share with you, you will be able to test it out. By the way, if you are using Windows 10 or 11 and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan, where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case, the link will be down below along with all the info that you will need. And that being said, let's take a look at the screen. Before we begin, I'm recording the screen on the machine that I'm working, as you can see right over here, and there will be a few steps that you will require to restart your computer. I will let you know when, but I will not restart mine just for the sake of saving time for the video. That being said, let's open our browser and we will need this tool right over here. The link will be down below as well. Viv tool, this is the latest version at this moment. We just need to go right over here and download the zip file. Once we have downloaded, I can go to the folder downloads and right over here I've got Viv tool. I want to extract all and yes and okay there we go. I'm going to close this window just so that we don't get confused. Now I've got my downloads folder, I've got the Viv tool and I did extract it. Now what I'm going to do on this first step is to go right over here and open the folder and right click without selecting anything I'm going to right click and say copy address as text. Now with that in mind, I'm going to open a text file which is right over here. I will leave everything down below in the video description that you will need. And on this first method, we are going to use PowerShell. Just have in mind that I already tested on four machines and on those four machines I had four different behaviors and that's the reason that I'm sharing with you all the info that I'm aware at this moment. So if you don't get it with the first one, just keep on going because you will get it with one of these steps. That being said, we had copied and now let's go to the uh, start button and right over here I'm going to search for terminal and with the right button click and then run as administrator and bam it's going to open terminal or PowerShell and what I'm going to do right over here I'm going to write to be more precise CD space and I'm going to control V the address that I did copy before from the folder and now I'm going to press enter basically that is it now you will need what I've got on the video description which is this PowerShell command just copy everything until this dot press control C and right over here control V and press enter and right over here we can see a message which is Windows feature configuration tool successfully set feature configurations now at this moment is that moment that you will close this window you can close everything and restart your computer and once you restart you will not see the um, let me go to the taskbar I don't have mine activated <laughs> let's go and put it here sorry about that uh, you will not see it like I did but but you will go to your taskbar and you press on and you will have it right over here. So I can close this and now if I press here, I will have Copilot on the right side. And if that was the case, a huge thumbs up, great and have fun with Copilot. But if you still are here, let's go for the second method. Now the second method is very similar. We are going to the same folder, right click, copy address as text. And now instead of going to terminal or PowerShell, just open the windows and search for CMD and we will have the command prompt. Right click and select run as administrator. There we go. Press yes. Right over here, the same procedure, CD space control V because we did copy the address on text and right now instead of using the PowerShell command let's use the CMD prompt command so control copy and down below in the video description you will have it control V 
enter and you will have there we go this is what we need to paste as you saw i did paste um wrongly two times and it did not work but if we paste the correct line of code it will work successfully set feature configuration and there we go so now i can close it i can close this window as well and restart my computer hopefully when you open it up it will be ready just right click on your taskbar and go to taskbar settings and you will have it right over here this happens on one of my machines immediately i'm not sure if it was with powershell or with the command prompt but it was one now this one that i'm working right now as the windows inside the preview so i have the latest updates available and some of them not even for public so i'm not really sure if that's one of the causes or not but if you still haven't solved it let's go for this third one and this one is just for my remembering let's go here for the windows tool i would also suggest to do this by the order because i do suspect that powershell or the command line has an effect on what we are going to do next so let's go to search reg and i already had the register editor right click and run as administrator okay and there we go just closed everything because when you do that for the first time you will be here and what we are going to do right now is select this second here current user and then we are going to search for for software and after software we are going to search for Microsoft which is right over here let's open it up and after Microsoft we want to search for Windows here it is and after Windows we will work with this one and this one so really simple on the shell we will open it up and where it says copilot have in mind that, as I said previously, this is a Windows inside the preview and I have a lot of updates. So I believe that if you have a normal version of Windows 11, you will only have this one right over here. So you don't need to touch anything. And if you select here, you will go to Bing Chat and you will have this one and this one is user eligible and right over here what we are going to do is probably you will have this and the value will be zero so you'll need to right click modify and go and instead of the zero that you will have just select it press one and okay and that is it if by any reason you don't have the is user eligible what you're going to do is right click new and do a d word 32 bit value and you will write as it is and i'm not going to do the same because i already have that name so i'm going to press 2 let's have in mind that it would be exactly like this just modify and where it says zero just press one press ok and you are good to go you can restart the computer but i would suggest something else if we go right over here on the copilot and let me delete this one here so that i don't leave that okay let's go to the copilot if you only have the default it's not a bad idea to try this one right over here you can just go right click and say the word 32 bit value and create one called is copilot available and then change it to one like we did before with the one here on the bing chat and this will probably help you out but there is something else that uh, you should try as well and this is here on the current version so if we go to current version and open it up let's search for explorer and here on explorer let's open it up and on advanced there is something that you will have to search which is show copilot button this one here i did create it i didn't have here so what you need to do is to right click new and you will select the d word 32 bit value and you are going to write exactly show copilot button exactly as it is right over there as i already have one i'm going to press one right over here so mine is here and this one was the one created i'm going to modify press one press ok and that is it you can go out this moment i'm going to delete this one right over here because i don't need it and i'm going to close at this moment restart the computer when you get back i'm almost sure that you'll have the button right over here on the taskbar settings available to turn it on and have fun with go pilot but if by any reason you don't then don't give up there is one more actually two but one is cool the other one is boring now do you see this button right over here this is a shortcut so if i press i will have co-pilot right over here even if i don't have the button 
here and I actually have one machine and that's why I'm sharing this. I have one machine, a laptop, which is the oldest one. I don't see on the settings this option. I don't have it there, but I did create the copilot by this order. I did create this shortcut and when I press it, it works. So this is one of the ways that you can have it working. Now, that being said, what we need to do is right click and say create new and in this case shortcut and on this shortcut you are going to copy and paste what you have right over here which is on the video description Control c and then Control v that is it next and we are going to give any name so copilot example i already have one created here copilot so this one is just as an example let's press finish and bam now, one of the things that I don't enjoy is having the edge as a icon. So what I did was I did download a PNG with the Copilot logo and then I did transform. Don't remember where, but you'd search PNG to icon and you will have online services that you will upload and then download icon. So what we are going to do next is properties and then here on web document change icon and I want to browse for one that's already downloaded so i've got right over here and press open and press uh, select this one okay and apply and like this we've got a really nice icon right over here which we can just put it somewhere on our desktop or anywhere else that we want and just double click and bam and there we go we are ready to use copilot okay this is not the most elegant way but at least we can use it now i did said that there was a fifth uh, way of using and it was boring and it is that's because it's not integrated on windows it's on the microsoft edge now i'm going to close it but if you pay attention you will see it right over here you will see it right over here so if you press here we will have the experience of copilot on edge and i enjoy more the one integrated on windows but if you are desperate and you can't find any solution then you still have this one that will allow you to have some fun and that is it hopefully the video was helpful with all the solutions that i was able to gather so far to help you out and have copilot enabled on windows 11 and have fun just have fun with it i'm having fun and trying new things which is awesome if that was the case don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one